Hey everybody, Sam here from Web Contempo, and um, today I'm going to show you how you can get these cool angled um, borders on your backgrounds using CSS. So um, these borders are pretty popular right now. You see a lot of different sites using them, and there's actually a few different ways you can do it. Um, it just kind of depends. Uh, I've seen ones where they do it with pure CSS, there's ones you can do with SAS, and there's a lot of them where they'll just um, hide a background layer, like they'll make a graphic of a triangle like this and then hide it and absolute position it at the bottom of the section. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Um, so the way I'm going to show you today is probably the easiest way to do it and um, the only problem with it is you cannot it doesn't work in Internet Explorer so this is going to be something that only works in uh, contemporary browsers not IE. Uh, personally that doesn't really bother me that much because I really don't care for Internet Explorer at all and um, you know, five, ten years ago, it used to be a much bigger issue because everybody was using Internet Explorer. And really right now, it's just not as much of a big deal anymore. So um, for me, I, I like to do it this way because it's easy and um, looks good and works in most browsers. And it's pretty solid on mobile, too. You know, it doesn't work on the browsers on mobile um, where it's not supported. And that's actually fine because... Um, worst case scenario, if somebody pulls this up in IE, this is just going to be a solid edge and not have this part here. So, I mean, that's not really the end of the world. And on a phone especially, it doesn't matter either. These um, angled borders really don't matter. So, anyway, let's get right into it. Um, I set up a page here, and we've got um, a large image hero that we want to make an angled background on the bottom. Kind of like this one, except maybe not with as much... Um, much of a sharp angle so a little bit less um, so this is I'm using the Divi theme you don't have to do this in Divi uh, you, you can this is just a CSS snippet you can use anywhere but it's super easy to do it in Divi so um, flip in here I've added a full width header uh, using the full width header extended module actually and I set it to be 512 pix high so it's not, it's not gonna take up the full screen just the 512 um, in Divi, all you need to do is pop in here and then head over to the Advanced tab and into the custom CSS. Then on the main element, you're going to want to put the following snippet of code. So this is uh, Clip Path and WebKit Clip Path. And what you're doing is creating a polygon um, using coordinates. So basically, um, <clears throat> all we need to do is change these coordinates however we want and it's going to give a, a different angle on the border. So um, this this one right here, these coordinates here, are going to give you that bottom right angle. Um, now, I used 86, and I'm just going to show you how that looks right now. And you see, all we had to do is paste that in there, update it, and then we'll take a look at it on the front end as soon as this loads. I'm going to be having to get some more RAM for my server pretty soon because it's just been slow as shit lately. So, um, fortunately we have to wait a little bit for loading, but that's alright. And as you can see, uh, it just puts a nice little angle on it right there. Uh, not as pronounced as this angle here, but um, this one is quite a bit sharper than you see in a lot of them. Sometimes they, they uh, all you really need is just a subtle angle. So, that... Um, that is with the 86% in there. Now you can tweak these numbers however you want. For example, say we put this one down to 36%, it's gonna give you a crazy sharp angle. Um, probably one that you're not gonna wanna use even. But I'm just gonna show you anyway how it looks. See, so this one is actually um, even sharper than the one here, but uh, still somewhat similar. So that should give you a good idea. Um, now, if you wanted to ha use this for a section, say somewhere in the middle of your page, and uh, you wanted to maybe add a little angle on the top as well, then you would want to um, adjust this here for the top left. So. Um, and this coordinate will change this to about 30%. When I found you usually want the top left to be about, um, 
you know, the top left and the bottom right, if you want them to be even, should be equal to about 100. So if we have this one at 30 and this one 70, I think this is going to give us a pretty even border on both the top and the bottom. So let's, let's see what that does. And this is one of those things, um, you know, I just kind of play around with it until I get it the way I like it. Okay, yeah, so you can see by making those um, coordinates equal to 100, it pretty much gave us the exact same amount on the top and bottom. Now, you might not really want a background like this, but that should give you a pretty good idea um, uh, what to use for a starting point on that. So, and then again, you can um, change these numbers. You would want to go less here to make a, a less pronounced angle and more to make a more pronounced angle. So then the other important thing to point out with this is that um, there's also this WebKit clip path. This is for support in the Safari browser. So if you want this to work on Safari, you're going to also want to put the exact same um, coordinates in this as you have here. So no big deal really, just don't forget to do it or else it's not gonna, as you can see I still have the 86 there, so um, as it stands right now this would look different in Safari than it does in Chrome. So uh, that's pretty much it really. I'm gonna paste this uh, piece of code in the description below, so all you need to do is copy it, paste it into your projects. Um, you want to put this on the main background element of your hero. Now in Divi, it's super easy to do that because um, you can just go right into the hero and click on the advanced tab and go to the main element and paste it. Um, and some other themes you might have to do a little code inspection to find out where the um, background image actually is. So wherever your background video or image is actually at is what you're going to want to apply that clip path to. And um, then from there, you just want to tweak your numbers and get it to where you like it. So um, another thing is, if you look around online, there are some generators where you can um, actually generate the uh, polygon. So it's kind of like a JavaScript-based tool while you're, where you're going and just drag, and drag around the polygon until you get it to where you want it, and then it'll spit out the coordinates for you. That's also a super good way of doing it. Um, if you want to do it like that. But generally speaking, you know, you just need a basically uh, a little action down here like that. And all you really need to do is just use this snippet and adjust this number right here. So pretty simple. Um, again, unfortunately, it does not work on Internet Explorer. Um, you know, I personally don't care. A lot of people do care. So, I mean, that's definitely an issue for some people and you would need to do it a different way. But for me, I really like doing it this way and um, it makes it super easy to plug these things in. And people who use correct browsers will get the benefit of seeing um, extra super cool effects on a site, whereas people who are using Internet Explorer are just going to have to see a plain old basic site. So, um, and that's fine by me. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, definitely try plugging this code in yourself and play around with it and see what kind of cool stuff you can make.